G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So after yesterday's 45 minute video, I'm coming to you with a pretty quick video. Um, not because of the length of yesterday's video, but I have some stuff going on. I'm about to show you what one of the problems is. Um, and then B, I've actually got PCS committee meeting tonight. We're actually going to be talking about the future of the club. It's going to be a pretty serious conversation, I think. Um, and uh, uh, hopefully tomorrow's video, I'll open the video with some of the stuff we've talked about. Um, but you know, as you guys know, forum, forums are dead. I think we might try and change the direction of the club. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm definitely jumping to conclusions here. Um, it's going to be a big conversation. but um, So some of you may have noticed that my grass tree is gone in the middle of my backyard um on camera maybe not so noticeable in person it's like it's made it's a huge difference um there's actually i had a sneaky suspicion that white ants ate it um it wasn't really sneaky i kind of saw some sort of creature in there and then um last night in the fish room i found something so let's go in the fish room and i'll show you All right, guys, so as you know, I had the root problem. Are you guys fogged up? Uh, we're coming into the cooler weather, guys. It's gonna be gonna have to start climatizing the camera, but I don't have time to today. So sorry if it's a bit foggy, but as you guys know, we've got a root system coming in down there. Um, these roots are now disconnected from the tree, so they should start to perish, or I don't know what will happen, um, but I can't get under there to get them out. Um, but basically, uh, I lifted that drain. I'm not going to lift it right now because I'm hoping that when my friend comes, I can lift it and show him. So I don't want to disturb that, but you should be able to, you'll be able to see them over here. So, focus. See those little white things? So my automatic reaction here was to believe there's none over there, they're all in this crowd here. Um, my automatic reaction was to believe that they are termites. So I sent a photo to my friend. Um, he said he's coming over ASAP, pretty much. He said, we'll do it today. Um, I only messaged him last night and he said he'll be here straight after work today. Um, he, he was pretty alarmed. Um, but the point is, uh, they might not be. There might be something called spring worms or, or something with a different name. But basically, if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure most of you do, this whole room is made out of timber. The walls are timber. Everything is timber. The only thing that's not timber is the, the steel frame for the actual shed. Um, that and the, and the plasterboard. This is all wood like everything is wood everything and then down here see like in there that's all wood what's down there's a dead fish down there <laughs> um but basically i shouldn't laugh sorry for laughing that there's a dead fish down there that's like uh, i could actually reach in there um there's like wood, 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 wood. IBCs aren't wood. Well, sorry, I've got the camera zoomed all the way in. Um, also, that wall is like moist wood. So, termites love boys, moist wood. And um, while we're here, let's have a look at my house. Wood, wood. My ceiling is jarra. Um, Wood on my pond, wood table. I know the table probably won't get eaten. Um, tree, 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 tree. If they start eating the trees, my, that's going to take out my whole fish room. Um, if anybody's a tree lopper in Perth 
and can do us a good deal, hit me up. <laughs> I need to get them trimmed, but I literally just can't afford it. Um, but like, there's just so much wood, wooden fence. Like, I'm a cabinet maker. I build anything I can possibly build out of wood. So basically what I'm getting at is I'm not willing to take any risk at all in this situation. Um, we're clearing this up. Oh, what are these two doing? They're having a bit of a fight. What? Leave each other alone. I don't even know why I've got them together still. I don't even. I don't really want to breed them again, but they can chill. Um. So yeah, I have to figure out what these bugs are, and I'm getting a a professional to come have a look. The it's an old friend through fish keeping. Um. He used to be a. Well, I think he still is. Hang on. He actually used to be, uh, he used to have the most insane reef tank I've ever seen. Like, this was, he had an eight foot tank, like, complete corals. It was amazing. And then he swat, last time I went to his place, he switched to marine predators. Um, I, honestly, it wasn't as spectacular as the reef, but I do know, as a fellow fish keeper, sometimes you just got to change it up to different because um, you get sick of the same thing um, but anyway point being I haven't spoken to him for like probably two years also um, my rooftop tent on my trailer is actually from him um, he gave it to me cheap so just an all-round stellar bloke um, and like, I haven't spoken to him for like two years basically since I got the tent off him and and like he's willing to like literally drive from down Mandra to the, like the next day to come have a look so um i know he's pro he doesn't watch my videos probably but chris if you are watching thank you thanks a bunch um uh, uh what i want to get out with that note is um the fish keeping community is amazing and it is also bad like you can get caught up in the bad side of it but if you're having a bad time in fish keeping just get rid of those people in your life because there's way more people in this hobby that are positive and good people to be around and uh, th I used to get caught up in the drama in the last couple of years if I don't like somebody I literally just stop talking to them so um oh, wife's home um yeah surround yourself by nice with surround yourself with nice people life will be nice yeah um but anyway I'm not going to film while he's here like I just don't want to. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you really know, but I actually get kind of a little bit insecure about filming um, with the people around. Um, I like the shelter of my backyard. I really want to get back into, do you remember, the only the OGs will remember this. I used to do like shopping center vlogs and like um, Blake's Aquatics still does it. Um, I used to go into shops and like pick out items that were good for fish keeping, cheap and stuff that you could use alternatively to fish stores um i kind of really i kind of want to get back into that i really enjoyed it um but yeah i don't know is it just a, a type of video that's been done to death i don't know let me guys let me know what you guys want to see in videos the yesterday's full fish room tour was by um requests so i i really enjoyed doing i really enjoy doing videos that are request um all right anyway i'm gonna wrap that up there because you'll be here any minute so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe hit the little red button there and you actually go in the draw to win 200 dollars um the draw will be drawn at 2000 subscriptions and all you've got to do is be subscribed but anyway guys peace out